What's up guys, Transfers Rumors here, back with another Euro Profile. This time we're with France. We're smashing them out. We're trying to get it uh, and uh, we're trying to get them all done before the Euros. Before the Euros actually start, yeah. Yes. So I'm here with Ekevin and Gian and we're gonna be your first Ekevin's first time on the Euro profile, how are you? Yes, Ekevin's first time. H how do you feel oh. to be in the presence of, of this? I of can't this wait. abomination. I can't wait to do friends. I've got I've got a knowledge about friends. I know. I know yeah. I know I know a lot about the players, I know I know how 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 they're gonna be like. Cause I watched them in the World Cup, and over now it's all it's all changed. Cause you know France have a new, re, ha, have really new good players in in the squad. Yeah, words of of confidence there. Okay, Nikki, care to lead us through the valley of of this video? The valley, the valley of. I don't know. I'm trying to make it. I'm, I'm trying to make metaphors, but I'm not in the mood. All right, let, let, let's go through this. We're gonna start off with the goalkeeping position, which is. Um, the number one keeper, which is Hugo, Hugo Lloris. Is it even a and question? It's not even a, yeah, it, it's, it's a rhetorical question. No, but question. Man, they, ha they have such a good backup as well, which is Steve Mandanda, who is an excellent keeper as well. He is a great backup in case Lloris gets injured they, during the they, tournament. They, they so they even keeper, right? Mandanda. Yeah. And then they have in third place Costil. I don't even know him. Don't so. forget Rafier and Araloa as well. You know those two. Yeah, guys. but, but uh, right the the current squad I'm looking at says that. Yeah, but there. Yeah, you go down to the recent call ups. Araloa is in it, and so is Rufio. Ara Araloa is Filipino. Okay, that's why when I used to live there, they're all freaking out. Huh? Because they had like a guy Do you playing. Still in the Philippines? None of us, none of us speak over. Yeah. None of us speak over Neil Taylor. Actually, we figured out over Neil Taylor. No, we don't. <laughs> He's Indian, English. Yes. I think. But yeah, Rufi, I mean he's they have some, he's, he's half Welsh, half they Indian. Have, they have so much they have so many options in the goalkeeping position if anything were to happen. Yeah. But let's now move on to the more more um less predictable position. Yeah, the defense my favorite. Let me have a rant. The defense and um the current squad says they have Hallett, Evra, Varan, um Sacco. Sacco's Sagna. done, isn't he? Yes, of course Sacco's banned yeah, he, because he, of he, the he, yeah, drugs, 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 drugs. Yeah. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't but do wait, the how, how long? Tell that to no, Lorenzo. How, how, oh, how long rats. is he banned for? He's out, he's out for the season for sure. We, uh, yeah, six months. Time. Yeah, six months. Yeah. Six weeks. Surely he's going to miss months. it. Lucas Digne, Koscielny, Matuid, uh, Matui, 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 Matui. No, just Matui. Jeremy Matui. Matui, 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 Matui yeah. Matui. Mangala, Mangala, Perrin, Zuma, Debushi, and Trem, Tremona. What? Tremulinas. Yeah. Tremulinas. Tremulinas. If you've, okay, you, if you cannot pronounce Tremulinas by the end of this episode, I'm going to throw a tantrum because this. I just said Tremulinas. This, this man is a fantastic fullback. If he is not used in the Euros and you pick a freaking artifact like Evra who's losing his legs by the minute over Tremulinas, I'm going to be very upset because this man, he runs up and down the pitch. The few games I've seen him play for Sevilla, he's. he's who's moving he's their good. phone? I'm pissed. Tremulinas is good. And he, I, I mean, they're not... Sevilla are not about... You know, they're not in the Europa League semifinals by accident. And Tremulinas is a big part of that for Sevilla. Without a doubt. I think he should be in this team. Okay, but let's list our starting 11 full um, defense. Centre-back, who are we going Kashelny with? and... Not, not Mangala. Yeah, Koscielny for sure. Koscielny and... Varane? Yeah. Varane. Varane, yeah. I, I would go with well. Zuma if he's fit. I would go no, with Zuma, but I don't, I don't I, I, think... No, I don't, I don't no, yeah, I, I think it's too no. early to play Zuma, because... Yeah, it's too early. I think I think that he's the fastest. Albania. Well, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I I don't often defend Chelsea this much. I'm gonna do it once. He's the fastest centre back in the Premier True. League. But can he do it? Can he do it in the Euros though? Against the likes of Chris, he's a tank. Against the likes of Cristiano he's a tank. Ronaldo. Against I think if we've. But Throughout I don't history, think it's worth risking. History, I don't think France have enough okay, tanks. Okay, group stages, group stages maybe, but it's not worth risking him in the quarterfinals or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. So we've got those two at the centre back he, spot, he right back and battle. left back. Um, Full backs. I hope Patrice ever plays though. I think I, I think I think it's good enough. Uh, I think maybe ever on the left, but definitely Tremaine is on the right. So Tremolinas on the right, yep. without without a shadow. Did any of these likes to drop top top, top players like I've, when they don't I've, even? I've, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of worried in one regard that Deschamps might not have. I'm gonna say this right now. He might not have the balls to drop some of his better players. Who? Sami Najri. All right. So that moves us on to the midfield now, and this is the most controversial. 
position, really, because you've got so many players playing well there. You've got, you've got the likes got of Conte, Paye, who've been playing um, incredible in the Premier League. But there, the question is, will they get that? There's, there's one up? easy option. You got Paul Pogba. That that's he. He's got to be yeah. there, surely. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, that's one option. But Kante and Paye. I, I think both Paye, of them need to be I, I in think, that team. I think Paye, no question. I think, I think Kante has been the. Kante is my player of the year. PFA player of the year. Would you play a that's four one four one? Four two three one. It's the four, it's two, three, the one. formation of the future, in my opinion. And you have, we have, okay, they have to take Paye, but Kante, where they're going to, um, where do you think they'll play him though? Schneiderlin. It's got to be deep next to Pogum. But, yeah, because they've got Schneiderlin in the CDM position as well. Actually, I, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to piss you off, but, though, fine, I'm going to, uh, I'll change my argument. Kante and Schneiderlin are tactically chalk and cheese. There's n- they're not going to be playing in this. Just because of formation, they stick to one formation, doesn't mean they're sticking to one tactical plan. When you're playing against a good side like Switzerland, go with Kante and you you know, you know hold back a bit. When you're playing against Albania or Romania, you put in Schneiderlin and you Schneiderlin. push at least, forward at least more. Have two of them Schneiderlin the will team. push up he forward rotate, and Kante will hold them up. I think Kante the is the kind of guy you... But is it... Um... But, but for this, where will you play Paye? Paye on the left. Paye in the, the cam, the... no doubt. Yeah, but I mean, Griezmann can play cam as well. Griezmann is, no, Griezmann, got, uh, many, uh, Griezmann, Griezmann is my left Griezmann, winger. Griezmann, no, Griezmann is on the right for me. Or right winger. Well, why, whatever. why wouldn't you play Griezmann striker though? I, I think, think Martial. Benzema's gone. I, I'm no, going to no, go Lacazette, Martial and Lacazette, Griezmann. Lacazette. On the wing. Yeah, Lacazette up front. Uh, Griezmann, Martial on the wing. All right, this so let's move on to the striker now. We start talking a little bit about this. This is where it gets interesting because they have lots of options. Benzema cannot go to the Euros. He is not going. Yeah, well... Because of his sex they don't, tape. They don't... His sex tape with Josh Paul, so he cannot <laughs> go. What about Bena? But it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, does it? Look at look at Lacazette. You, you, you look at Martial who can come in and play. Va- you, look at, you know, there's Fakir so many... as well. Valbuena. Gignac. Gignac. What a return he's Valbuena. made. And of course... No, I mean, the best, the best of course, is... Uh, Wait, Gian. All the midfield, we... For the midfield, for the CDM, we forgot to mention Kondogbia. Yes, Kondogbia is, is one of them, yeah. I think he's he's, a, he's there, but I think just... I, I've said already, Kante is my player, PFA player of the year. Pogba, he can be the deep-lying playmaker and the box-to-box. He can... I think you know, he can more. I don't think you should... I don't yeah, if, yeah, exactly. If you put if you put Kante next to Pogba, you're going to give Pogba the Would license really to attack. Would you Kante in on his first year of the... Like yes, it's tactically, it's definitely. Worth it. Tactically, if you play Schneiderlin and Pogba, one of them will have, to, will have to be more. It's gonna make Pogba more reserved. He's gonna have to drop back more. Kante is a one-man tank. He can stop anyone from getting. You know, he, he can. He could do, if he can do it to you know United City Chelsea. If he can, and do he can it on make a cold night in Stoke. He can do yeah, it for France. Yeah, if he can, if he can make um, if he can make a mincemeat out of all the top four clubs in England, what's he gonna do to Albania? That's my question, and the answer all right, all right. the answer is they're gonna get they're gonna get their second Balkan War. That was very the second racist. Balkan War. It's gonna be we we'll started at the Euro. It's like they, they lost they lost Kosovo. They're gonna lose more this time. They're gonna lose. They're more gonna lose now. more. Of, they're gonna lose Kosovo to France. Take that out. That, 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 what am I saying? Take it out. Oh, do you know? Yeah, I don't know what. Fun, you're fun fact. Right, but let's move back. France to once the, France the once set up an autonomous area inside Albania and they controlled it. All right, but let's that's move just on my fun fact. So now, I know my history, just to prove you. Let's move back to the forwards. <laughs> All right, we've got a, the the strikers. Please, I have one. I have one thing to say. Do not take. Do not play Giroud, please. I hate that guy. I don't, I don't see why he's worth like playing in the Euros at all. He's not for me. He's not really a fantastic sort of player, for, and I think that Griezmann, Martial. Lacazette are just going to play over him, and they're just better players than him. Definitely. I think he's just average. I don't see much in him. I don't know why. It depends Arsene what, it depends so what style France go for. And if we have Griezmann and I mean, he played Martial, a lot in the World Cup. Yeah, but if we do have Griezmann and Martial as wingers, we're not going to be playing many crosses, are we? We're going to be playing a more, a more you know, Tottenham style, where the wingers are just attacking midfielders and they just come in and they just you know create havoc and this you know they they play yeah. make through the middle but i think I've got an interesting that's what they've got to go with for you Jan. Mm-hmm. i've got an interesting question for you yeah will kingsley coleman no play? that's a very good one that's a very good one 
You can't deny it's a very good question. I forgot um, about him. I think Kingsley Kingsley Coleman is he, I he's replacing he's Robin and Ribery. I mean, they've replaced Bayern have replaced Robin and Ribery with Coleman and Douglas Costa, Costa, which yeah. is the best the best financial decision those guys could have made. Great I point. think Coleman will not start right away. I think he he is in with a shout, but Martial. But I think they should take him, him just for the experience. Of course, you should take him. Take him, of just course. Just by going. But I have another question. Is is Hatem Ben Arfa over Komen on the pecking order? Because Hatem Ben Arfa is on ben form. Ben Arfa's been brilliant lately. He's on form. Do you do that? Do you call do him you, up? Do you risk a young lad for, or do you take the experienced one? Yeah. I mean, it is it is a tough one. But, I mean, he's... It's, it's, it's I, okay, I would go for Ben Arfa, in my opinion, because Komen... I want to see. I want to see more of him at Bayern because I'm interested to see how Honestly, he's going to take. I don't um, think, how he's going to handle taking over the, Robin's position. I don't think Ben Arfa would make it to the starting eleven every single game, though, because of course not. But we're talking about backup. But, Who's going to be backup to Martial? Yeah, okay. Is it going to be Ben Arfa or is it going to be? For me, it's Ben Arfa. It's tough. It, it is. I'm. I'm just pulling up Kingsley Coleman stats. Kingsley Coleman, man. He's. He's everything. He's everything to the. To the French team, he's he's played seven Champions League games this season. And he's uh, that done, that's he's pretty done, impressive. He's done really well. Yeah, he's played seven. Cha- he's, he's Guardiola's favorite winger, I think, at this point. And you, I mean, we saw him against Juventus. He just destroyed he's, his he's former sc- club. Scored against him. No, he's not his former club. It's still his club. Yeah, he's yeah, still, his he's parent only club. To, uh, On loan, yeah, it's his parent club. But it's gonna yeah, but that's his at, that's his at the end of the season. At the season. He's gonna go to Bayern, yeah. so it's gonna be his former club, basically. Yeah. It basically is. Bayern, I'm not gonna give up on this lad. He's he's fantastic. I, I I, he's PSG just PSG making a really big mistake by selling him for selling this guy. Uh, PSG are just you know. they're the kings of mistakes. I think Chelsea and PSG financially, we deserve the um, head in the sand award for finances. I think United have made more mistakes in transfers than Chelsea have made. Fifty million. Yeah, because they have PSG. they've spent more money. Okay, I, I don't know what's a bigger mistake. Fifty million pounds for Torres, or fifty million pounds for David Luiz. Torres. I'm, I'm bringing. Oh no, Torres. No, David Luiz. David Luiz can't defend for shit. Okay, first of all, defenders are worth much less than they strikers in the market the in general. And signed at the same time. What do you mean? They both left Chelsea at the same time. Who? To- yeah, yeah, to- yeah, they joined at the same window as well. David Luiz yeah, and Torres. And they left, but around yeah. the same time. Yeah, but the, the the point the point is Torres got us to a Champions League final. He created the ultimate Gary Neville moment. Like, he he pretty much gave Gary Neville the biggest moment of his career. It wasn't winning the Premier League. It was that commentary. That was the biggest moment right. of Gary Neville's but career. Let's, let's All move facts back to Fernando France. Torres. We're gonna start making we're gonna well start spent. making some predictions for the for the group stage matches. A starts with death. A starts with death. Yes. Oh, yes. God. All right. So let's go. Okay, what position will France death get in the group? D. First, first. Of course, death starts with D. I yeah, we win. know that. We know that. We said A starts with death. Why? It's a, a running a joke. Group of death, right? No, because D no. is the group of death. But it's a running joke that everything is death. Because Yashpol is death. Yashpol's memes are death. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense at all. Hello, Kevin. How are you this morning? Okay, wait, okay, let, okay, so what place are fans going to get in the group? You Go first, Jan. They're going to get first place, and they're going to win three games in a row. They're going to lose to Switzerland. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's France, Switzerland, Switzerland. Romania, Romania, Albania. Albania. No, no, Albania third. No, I think France is easily going to top the group, so don't get me wrong. Don't, don't, no. don't get me wrong. No, no, not easily. I think it'll be France. Well, I think no. they're going to get three wins out of three. I think it'll be three. France, I think Swiss, Romania, Albania. Swiss. Exactly what I said. I think Albania will come last in this group because Romania, they are my underdogs. Switzerland and Tom won't believe get me. Tom sh- Switzerland will make it out, okay? And then they'll play Poland. Yeah, of course they'll make it out, but I mean... Makari when he loses the Euros. Yeah, he is. But I'm looking at Romania's squad. It is a good squad. You can't deny that it's a good squad. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you have a good squad. It's a matter of how you play. And how Albania play, tactically, is better than Romania. Okay, what is Romanian? Albania? What is Al- yeah. Give me a tactical breakdown of Albania. Give me a tactical Alright, they like to, play a, they like to um, play a lot of counter-attacking football. Which small team doesn't do that? 
Um, you. Fantastic. Let me make my argument for why Romania opened it above them. I said no, this, this in Back to the Net. No, no, no. You've France. opened yeah. up a can of worms, and you, no, you're going to yeah, regret. I'm going to make. Romania, I'm going to make you. You can do this in the Romania. I'm going to make you regret. No, you're not. Young. Okay, in the Romania video, yeah. I'm going to make you regret saying okay. bad things about this amazing team. Okay, Romania. Okay, whatever. I'm okay, supporting yeah, okay. England and Romania at the Euros. Just to Romania. Why are you supporting Romania? Just to prove because they have. I I I think that they're a good team. All right, they have a good team, and then they get out in the round of sixteen. Probably not, right. because they're my right, underdogs. Let's... That's why I picked them as my underdog. Because there's, I have reasoning as to why. All right, but let's end the video now, okay? Okay. Okay, you Okay, I'll I'll say the ending, and then we press end. Ready? Okay. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Europe Profile. If you did enjoy, smash the like button. Wait, Next Nikki. Up, wait, no. What? Well, predictions for France against Switzerland. Switzerland's gonna win. How much? What was what, your prediction? I said Switzerland's going to win 2-1. Okay, fantastic. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you much for watching. Ekevin cut off. But thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time, guys. Peace.